Hi there, I'm Josh, and today we're talking about the On 22-inch monitor from Walmart. It is 1080p Full HD, and on the back you only get HDMI and VGA as well as the power out, which is not a whole wide selection of things, but HDMI should be able to run most things. There's just no display port, which is really disappointing. Now, I didn't film the unboxing experience, but the unboxing experience was pretty bad. The peel experience was terrible on this monitor. The clear plastic that you're supposed to take off. I think there's still some residue that I can see right here on my monitor. Um, so it's not a fantastic experience. You're going to have to spend some time getting everything off of it. But once you get it out and open, you have the stand, an HDMI cable and the monitor itself and then the power cable. Now the monitor itself is very cheap feeling. There's a lot of glossy plastic on the front and on the sand, and then on the back you get this brush plastic, which I actually don't mind. I think it looks pretty good, but it's definitely a cheaply made item, which is perfectly fine because I haven't said the price yet, and that is $79. Sacrifices have to be made for a $79 monitor, but I think the sacrifices here aren't too bad for specific circumstances. So you're not gonna be getting any dark blacks and you're not going to be getting great viewing angles. The color preset out of the box is set to warm, which is absolutely awful. I set it to cool and that made it a little bit more natural, but there is no neutral setting at all. You have to make it yourself in the customs and I haven't done that yet. I just set it to cool and let it run and it seems to be working okay in terms of color reproduction. It's not gonna be anything fantastic by any stretch of the imagination, but it's what I would consider to be good enough on a $79 panel. The menu navigation is absolutely horrible well, everybody should just go with the um, button on the bottom that controls everything. But instead, you're stuck with five different buttons, menu, power, back, forward, select. And good luck finding out which button does which. They do give you a sticker that's taped to the monitor um, that does show you the instructions. But once you throw that away, it's pretty much like a blind guess. The stand itself is a very standard stand in that it's just a wide V made out of cheap plastic. But this monitor is VESA compatible if for some reason you want a VESA stand on your $79 monitor. And let's get into the gaming aspect of things. So I played Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 on this and I was actually quite surprised at how well it ran. I was expecting for there to be input lag and there really wasn't a whole lot of it from my naked eye. I don't have anything to test input lag, but it didn't feel like I was playing on a slow monitor or anything like that. So it felt good to play on. And when you're in game, the colors don't look nearly as bad as what shown right now in the video because this was filmed on an iPhone. But it was a perfectly playable experience. Now media consumption is something else. If you don't care about media consumption, things like YouTube will run pretty darn good. I don't have any issues watching YouTube on this, but if you're trying to watch movies on it, I think that you're gonna have trouble with the color reproduction. But that's not what this monitor is for to me. I don't think anybody should buy this as their main monitor. First of all, 22 inches is incredulously small for a workspace. You can't do things like Photoshop on it if you're doing any sort of color accurate work. It's only 60 hertz. It only has HDMI and VGA. With that said, I bought this, so there's a reason why. I don't just spend money frivolously, and the reason why I spent money on this monitor is because I have an ultra-wide, huge stinking monitor. It's 34 inches wide, and I love playing games on it, but what I also like to do while playing video games sometimes, especially multiplayer games, is watch YouTube. And to have a second monitor that just watches YouTube or goes on Discord is exactly what I wanted. And the fact that it's 22 inches is a perfect size in comparison to my 34 inch monitor because it doesn't mean I have to look at another huge monitor in order to get what I want. And that I think is the ultimate use case for this is as a second monitor. I use it for split screen Discord and YouTube and it works fantastic for that. And I have no issues whatsoever for using it in that case. So should I think you buy one for a main monitor purpose, not particularly, but I think for a second monitor, it is a perfect value proposition. And I think for 79 bucks, you're getting a pretty good deal. Um, you're not gonna get an IPS display at this price, but I will say if you are willing to spend more at around $100, you will start to get much, much better displays. There was a Black Friday sale at Walmart, which is where I bought this display, for a hundred bucks, that was 165 Hertz 1080p display, which is going to be much better because it's from a true name brand, not a Walmart brand. And it's set out for gamers, so color reproduction is gonna be pretty good as well. So I would say keep an eye on sales, but if you want the cheapest of the cheap monitor and you're just going to Walmart to buy something, I don't think this was a bad purchase. 
Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, like, subscribe, do what you usually do, and as always, buy yourself something nice.